Rams and men here. Okay, so we gotta get a little bit of uh, less serious stuff going on. All right, let me start with. I have three jokes for you. Now you gotta pay attention here because if you don't pay attention, you won't understand some of the jokes. Okay, here we go. Number one. So this is guy and he's building a house and. When he gets done, he decides to build a fence because he had extra bricks left over. So he gets done, he's, he finishes up, and he gets down, and he needs one more brick. So he goes to the uh, mason, He's, I mean, over to the uh, rock yard and says, Hey, I need one more brick just like this. And the guy says, Well, we have those bricks, but we only sell them in, in packs of ten. You can only get them if you buy ten. But I just need one. He's like, Sir... I can't help you. The only thing we can do is sell it and pack it in. He goes, you know what? I need this. Go ahead and give it to me. So he goes home. Use it. Come to find out he had to replace a couple other ones. By the time he get done, he had an extra brick. He's like, what am I going to do with this brick? I got this extra brick. What am I going to do with it? So he looks around. He's like, eh, whatever. Throw it up in the air. Just think about that for a little bit. You'll, you'll figure it out in a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Number two. All right. So... There is a, there's these three pastors, okay? There's a Methodist preacher, there's a Baptist preacher, and there's a priest. Well, they all go fishing, and they're out there, and they're, they're fishing on their boat and everything, and one of them says, you know what? I'm really hungry. I'm going to go get a bite to eat. And they left their stuff on the shore. And uh, one, of the, one of them says, you know, can we row you back? He goes, no, I'll just walk across, across here. Don't worry about it. And he gets off, walks across water. And so they're eating, um... Then the other guy looks at the other uh, pastor and says, you know what, I'm going to go and get a drink. I'll be back in a minute. He just walks across the water and sits over there. Well, now, the priest is sitting there in the uh, boat, and he's like, man, I can't let these guys show me up. Hey, I think I'll come join you guys. He steps out, sinks straight to the bottom. The two pastors look at one another and say, I think we should tell him about the stepping stones. All right, number three. Now, there's this guy, and he's on this plane. This is a private charter, and he's a real rich Texan, big cowboy hat. Um, this lady gets on with him, and you can she tell she's a highfalutin lady. She has a little um, poodle with her, and so they're sitting on the plane. They take off. They're talking, doing their pleasantries and everything. They take off. They're up in the air, and this little dog starts yapping. Just yap, 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 yap. Well... It won't shut up. You know how little dogs are sometimes. It would not shut up. So the Texan says, hey, I need you to get rid of that dog. You have to, Can you shut that dog up? She goes, she has every much right as you do to be on this plane. He's like, okay, but can you quiet her down? Well, this goes on another 10 minutes. He's like, I can't take this anymore. He goes, you need to get rid of that dog. Just throw her out. And she goes, I can't throw her out. She's like a member of my family. And he said, just throw her out. And so she's like, no, I can't do that. He goes, okay. So he has this big cigar. He pulls out this big uh, Cuban cigar and lights it up. And he starts smoking it. Now, now this is back in the day, you know. So you can you're allowed to smoke back then, but it starts filling up the cabin. And she's like, "Oh my gosh, it's terrible." She's like, "Sir, can you put that out?" And he goes, "I'll make you a deal. You throw out your dog. I'll put out. I'll throw out my cigar." She's like, "Oh, I could never do that." About ten minutes later, I mean, this thing, the fuselage is full, just full of smoke, and she says. Sir, please, please put out your cigarette. I mean, your uh, cigar. And he goes, like I said, you throw out that dog, I'll throw out the cigar. She's like, okay, I'm so sorry it came to this. And she just takes her dog and throws her out the window. And she goes, he's and the Texan looks at her and says, a deal's a deal. He throws his out the window. <clears throat> so they're sitting there, and she's been crying and stuff. And all of a sudden, he goes, the Texan goes, oh my gosh, look at that. Look what's out there. And she said, she looks over, she goes, <gasps> Fluffy! Her dog's sitting on the wing. And guess what's in her mouth? A brick. <laughs>